Hey everyone. I hope you're having an incredible day. I'm super happy right now, because of you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I will make sure to give you the best tutorials I can. Today in this very exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create tech reveal animation in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name it as line. Width is 1920, height is 1080, duration is 5 seconds, click OK. Take the shape tool, and create a square shape, by holding shift like this. Reduce its size and place it in the right side like this. Place the time indicator at 1 second. Make sure the anchor point is in the center of the square. Press S on your keyboard, to bring the scale properties. Keyframe the scale, and change it to 0. Drag the time indicator a little to the right like this, and change it back to 100. Highlight both keyframes and right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Go to the graph editor by clicking this icon. Select the right anchor point, and by holding shift drag it like this. Let's play it, and see the animation. That looks good. We can add some motion blur to it so it will look little realistic. We finished creating our first animation. Now place the time indicator at where our box animation starting to enlarge. Take the pen tool here, and start making line. Click over here. And click over here. Since we don't need any fill, by holding ALT press the fill palette to block it. Select the stroke, and change the color to white. On our new line shape layer go to contents and press the add icon like this. Select the trim paths in the menu like this. Go to trim paths and keyframe the end then change it to zero. Take the time indicator little to the right like this and change the end to 100 back again. Now highlight both the keyframes right click on it, and go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now we created that line animation. But as you see, that our stroke is not big enough. Increase the stroke to 60 pixels. Now play it. That looks good, but we want our line animation to finish fast. For that, drag this keyframe to the left like this. It will increase the speed of the animation. That looks good. Now select both layer and press U on your keyboard. It will bring the keyframes. Shorten the distance between the line shape keyframes like this. And place it at the end. Go to graph editor and drag the anchor point to the left, like we did before. That looks good. Maybe drag this keyframe a little to the left, to give it smooth animation. That looks super good. Now we will add some effect, to make it looks dynamic. Take the pen tool again. Make sure that layers are not selected. Again make line like we did before. Increase the stroke to 114 pixels. That's great. We will name the bottom layer as box and middle layer as line and top layer as big line. 
Go to contents of bedline layer and again select trim paths. Place the time indicator at near end of this keyframes. Then keyframe both the start and end like this, and change both percentage to zero. Drag the indicator little to the right like this. Change the start to 100. Again drag it little, and change the end percentage to 100. Highlight all the keyframes and select easy ease. If I play it, that, that looks really fast. To slow it down drag the last two keyframes to the right like this. That looks super good. Now select all three layers and right click on it then select pre-compose. I will name it as line reveal. We can now start creating the second part of the animation. Create a new composition. I will name it as box. Take the shape tool and make a shape like this. We don't need any stroke. Select the fill and change the color to white. Place the anchor point in the center and place the shape in the center. Go to the shape contents again and select the offset path. In the offset path keyframe the amount and change it to minus 128. Place the time indicator at the 20th frame and change it back to 10. Highlight both the keyframes and select easy ease. Drag this keyframe a little to the left to increase the speed of the animation. Select both keyframes and go to graph editor. Again do the same by dragging the anchor point to the left like this. That looks super good. Select the layer and press U on your keyboard to bring the keyframes. Unselect the layer and create a new rectangle shape like this. Change the color to gray to make it differ from the other layers. I will name this layer a mat and this layer a shape. Press P on your keyboard to bring the position. Keyframe it and drag it down like this. Place the time indicator at 10th frame and drag it above like this. Until you see the full size of the shape. That looks good. Highlight both keyframe and select easy ease. Go to graph editor and do the same step. Drag it to the left. Now press this toggle icon, now you will see this option. Select the drop down menu and select alpha inverted mat. As you see our shape came from below, and expand at the top. That looks really good. You increase the speed by drag the keyframe closer. That's perfect. Now we will move to the final part of the animation. Create a new composition. Name it as Tech Reveal. Drag the line reveal and box composition from the project panel to our timeline like this. Now we have both animation in a single composition. Shrink the shape by holding shift and place it here.
Select the line reveal calm punch ring it also. Place it like this. Since all line animation starts at 1 second. Place the time indicator at 1 second then press Ctrl Shift D to split it. Delete this layer. Drag this layer to the beginning like this. Drag this layer off the right and place it here. That looks really great. Now we will add some text to the animation. Double click on the box composition. Take the text tool here and start typing. Change the color to black. Place it in the center. Increase its size. Now duplicate this shape layer by pressing Ctrl D. Place the duplicated shape layer above the text layer like this. In the text layer, change the mat to alpha. Now we have the text. Go to the main composition tech reveal. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks perfect. Now select the both layer and pre-compose it. I will name it as reveal. Now drag the stock video to the panel like this. Drag the video to the timeline. Now we have our stock video. Drag the animation layer at start of the first second. Press P on your keyboard to bring the position. Place it here like this. Reduce its size. Keyframe it. Place the time indicator at 5th second then drag the animation to the left like this. If I play it. That looks good, but we want our animation to pop out. To do that, double click on the reveal layer. Select both the layer and pre-compose it. I will name it as Tech Pop. Make sure that the time indicator is at the 2 second then press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer into two. Delete this top layer by pressing backspace. Now we have the animation. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and place at the end of the reveal animation like this. Right click on it and go to time and select the time reverse layer. Let's play it and see the magic. That looks perfect. As you see our animation now popping in and popping out on its own. Now go to the main composition and see the final project. That looks super awesome. We finally finished creating our reveal animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorials. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. It will help this channel a lot. Hit the like button. If you like this tutorial, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.